Being an independent insurance agent is a great opportunity. I feel like I can make a distinct difference in my business owners' lives and for their employees. I feel fortunate to be able to sell something that people can be thankful for in a time of need. An independent insurance agent is an agent who has relationships with multiple companies. What that means for my clients is that I'm able to look at multiple options for them. Being an independent insurance agent is a great career. It really is. There's a lot of choices and variety. I love that you're selling something that actually helps people. The more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. The hard work that you put in correlates directly with how much income you make. You work hard, you can play hard, and you have a lot of fun and take care of people at the same time. What I like about being an independent insurance agent is that every day is a little different. I meet new people every day, I don't sit at a desk all day, my schedule changes and my hours are very flexible. I'm able to call on businesses that have things of interest to me as well. Uh, for example, I'm an animal lover so I call on veterinarians and dog trainers, pet groomers and because my interests are the same as theirs I really enjoy talking with them and learning about their businesses and what they're doing. I'm an aviation insurance specialist and I work with clients that own airplanes, that own airports, that own businesses that serve airports and, and airplanes. We provide them with risk management, we provide them with insurance options for their business. For me in my world, I get to fly to go see my clients. I didn't want to just show up at a desk uh, from 9 to 5, same thing day after day, and you collect your paycheck and you go home. That's not, uh, that's not what it's all about for me. I come from, a, you know, from an athletic background where you make or break things for yourself. And I wanted to get into a position where I could continue to do that. As an independent insurance agent, I don't have to sit at my desk all day. I'm constantly on the go. For example, today I'm going to be visiting two clients, delivering their policies, doing a walkthrough of their business, and just checking in on them to see how things are going. The thing that's most exciting for me is that I get to talk to people about their airplanes and for me it's not going to work, it's just having a fun conversation uh, with people talking about aircraft, what they're doing at their airport, with their aviation related business. Every day is a fun day to get up and, and talk to them about what they're doing, what they're flying, what they're looking at buying. It's a fun opportunity to, to serve their, their uh, risk management and insurance needs. Having a flexible schedule allows me to work really hard during the week and if there is a nice afternoon, a nice summer day, I can take off and go boating or in the winter I can take off and go snowboarding. It allows me to be able to have those opportunities and not be stuck at my desk from 9 to 5. It's a great industry and everybody needs insurance so like I said you can pretty much live wherever you want and work wherever you want. Now I have a, a young family and one of the things that I you know, love being able to do is come home to him and leave, leave work at work. A lot of jobs you can't say that for. So it's a, it's, a very, you know, it's a good industry and it can be a very good way to make a living too. Well with my job now I'm a half a mile from home so I can walk to work, I can walk home for lunch, I ride my bike over to pick up my son after uh, work from daycare and the flexibility is great. The advantage of being with an independent agency is when he gets older and is in school, I'll be closer to home and closer to his school where I'll be able to participate in more of his school activities. One of the great benefits of being in the insurance industry, especially on my end as a producer or agent, uh, you know, I'm there at their, my client's biggest time of need when they have a tragedy that could uh, upset their business or shut their doors forever. When you've done your job right, they open those doors up and they hold you in a higher light and are more willing to refer business to you after that as well. When we have a major uh, catastrophe like Thornton Tornado, uh, the reason why people have their insurance policies is to get them back to their pre-loss condition as soon as possible. The same days we issue advance payments, uh, try to find them a temporary location to live while their home's getting rebuilt because that's the reason why they bought their insurance in the first place. Yeah, it's not just a job, you're a problem solver. And obviously, when there's a major catastrophe, they have problems. And uh, it's, it's a good uh, reward to help people out. Yep, it gives you some personal satisfaction as well. 
I think that's one of the biggest uh, areas of satisfaction for a lot of insurance agents is that they do have that sense of community and that they're protecting um, the other people in their community and it gives them an opportunity in a variety of ways to give back. I think one of the advantages to being in the insurance industry is that you get to help people and it's an industry that you can go go to during the day, come home and sleep well at night knowing that you're making a positive difference. If you're willing to give it the first two or three years where you're going to make uh, you know, the, the salary until your commissions really start kicking in and that's when you start making the big money uh, you can really do well and if you're young, motivated, aggressive, a sharp kid you're going to do extremely well in this business because this business needs people like that. A couple of the similarities that I have seen thus far between speed skating and insurance uh, one would be the, the challenge that comes with trying to sell yourself. Now as a speed skater I didn't make a lot of money for skating in circles. I made more money trying to market myself to companies who could use me in various ways. And with insurance, that's again what I'm trying to do. You, you know, you have to be persistent in both of them. Neither one of them happen overnight. I started ice skating when I was two years old, and I won when I was 27 at the Olympics. It takes an investment, so you have to make the investment, but if you make the investment and stick with it, the sky really is the limit.